because why not? No birds were harmed in the making of this video. I am not at all the best at multitasking, so I'm just gonna preface this by saying bear with me. And it is stunning. What is up, boyfriends, girlfriends, and everybody in between? My name is Lexi. If you haven't seen my face before, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And the nice comment shout out of the video goes to this person right here. Thank you so, so much for all of your kind words. They truly, truly mean the world. And if you want to be my next nice comment shout out in my next video, just leave a nice comment down below. Welcome to the video, guys. As always, I hope that everybody is doing well. And in this video, I am doing a get ready with me so you guys can see what my recent makeup look has been as of late. Merit Beauty was kind enough to send me a bunch of products. This video is not sponsored, but I love the product so much that I wanted to show you guys exactly how I use them and exactly how I've been getting this super natural, super effortless makeup look. And I also wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what's been going on in my life, a little bit of a life update, and also answer some questions that you guys asked me directly. So I'm going to stop rambling and let's get into the video. Okay, you guys, we are ready to put on some makeup. I'm putting on right now my e.l.f. Ride or Die Lip Balm just so my lips can be hydrated because they're a little dry. I always like to slather on some type of lip something before I start my makeup just so they can be nice and hydrated in the meantime because why not? I will be using other products other than Merit in this video. Since I'm just gonna sit down and be showing you guys makeup, I might as well kill two birds with one stone. No birds were harmed in the making of this video. But I was thinking I might as well kill two birds with one stone and make this a life update and answer some of you guys' questions. So I did take to my Instagram, follow me on Instagram if you have yet to do so. And I told you guys to ask me some questions for a get ready with me. And I'm gonna kind of talk you guys through what I'm doing while I give you a life update and sporadically answer some questions. I am not at all the best at multitasking asking so I'm just gonna preface this by saying bear with me. First things first, Merit is great. Their packaging was so cute. Like the box and everything that came in was so amazing and beautiful. And they also put every single product they sent me in this really cute camel colored corduroy bag. Um, you can use this as a makeup bag. You can even use this as a purse if you're feeling it. Um, and I really like how minimalistic it is. That's kind of their thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the bag and I did save the card that they sent me in the box. And the card looks like this with this very beautiful woman on the front of it and it says Merit. And I'm going to go ahead and just read what the brand has on this card so you guys can get an idea of what exactly their brand is striving for. So it says, beauty and self-care have reached a fever pitch, a saturated market with products coming out every few days, palettes with 50 colors when we only used to, and more and more additions to the list of what it takes to look good. This year we've reset. We learned we don't need much. We're accustomed to bare nails, natural hair, and days without makeup. We are indulging in comfort and minimalism and brands that bring us more with less. Mara was created to reimagine luxury beauty by making it well edited, holistic, and accessible. We're focused on responsible luxury, creating products that are safe for body, skin, and planet. Essentials that have earned a place on your vanity. We believe that less is more. We love, we love. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie my hair back and I did use the Pure Soak It Up Intense Hydrating Moisturizer. Love it so much. And also by the way, like I'm not using any lighting for this video just because I want you guys to get a real feel of what this looks like because sometimes lighting and makeup videos can be a little misleading and just because this is minimalistic super natural makeup I really want you guys to see it in all of its glory so I did hydrate with this I will have every single product that I can find that I talk about and use in this video linked in the description box if you guys are going to buy any of these products anyway please shop my links because I do get a very small commission from your purchase at no additional cost to you for and for your purchase of whatever the product may be. So shop my links if you're gonna buy the product anyway, that helps me out a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and start by using my Laura Mercier foundation primer. And while I'm rubbing this in, I'm gonna kind of talk about what's going on. So I'm back on YouTube, trying to post as consistently is as feasible for me. I did take about a month long break from posting, just being on social media period. I did need a break um, just for personal reasons. And I'm super happy that I did take the break. I really wanted this to be the summer that my channel like really grew and I wanted to spend dedicate a lot of time 
creating content and everything but it was just not feasible because of things that i had going on in my personal life and looking back it's like shoulda woulda coulda but i don't regret my decision to just take time to focus on myself because that was much needed it is about to be august in a couple of days right yeah today is july 29th that i'm filming this july 30th when you guys are seeing this hopefully and i am heading back to pennsylvania if you guys didn't know i am a college student i'm 20 years old i'm going into my third year of university at Lehigh University. I am a double major in cognitive science and journalism. Just have to get that out there. I also added some um, frequently asked questions in my description box so I don't have to answer the same questions over and over again but those are some of my most asked questions and my DMs especially. So that's that. But I am going to be moving back to Pennsylvania for college. My university is planning on having in-person classes, but I know because of like the new Delta variant, some things are changing, but I am moving into my first apartment. I'm going to be posting a ton of like apartment videos, apartment hauls, shop with me videos so I can get prepared to move into my first apartment, which is super, super exciting. And in my apartment, I will have three roommates. So that's gonna be cool. Before I get too off topic, I am using the perfecting complexion stick in chestnut this is by merit and it's absolutely amazing and this is like a great shade for my skin like you gotta love it so much i personally love it and i personally use this as a foundation stick i saw some other videos of people just using it as a blemish corrector just to put over like maybe a zit here or there but i like to just use it as a base and it's a super rich creamy product but it, it does dry down super fast so i do like to just use a little bit of a setting mist this is the morphe continuous setting mist just to loosen up the product a bit and then i'm going in with this brush from elf to blend that all out so yes i am going to be having three roommates and i'm just super excited about like the whole decorating aspect of things and just getting into the groove of you know living my own in my own apartment because you know i did live on campus my freshman year before covid shut everything down so i had like one semester and a third i would say being an independent college student and then i moved back home because my university did remote learning for the rest of my freshman semester and then also my entire sophomore year so i've been home when i was at college and dorming um on campus you know you start to get your independence and then i came back home and i really did enjoy my time home it's bittersweet but i am super excited to just have a new experience and have you know my own place that's not my home here in georgia and you guys know like i'm super excited to decorate i went to ikea yesterday so there's a vlog that's going to be coming out on sunday i think a lot of you guys requested Sunday. I went on live on Instagram and asked you guys when you guys wanted to see that vlog. But I went shopping in town at IKEA and me and my mom also tried this really great restaurant. So that's gonna be coming up soon. Okay, so this is the complexion stick blended out to the best of my ability. I have a little bit of a sunburn on my forehead. I was at the beach a couple of weeks ago. My skin is starting to peel right there. So if you guys notice that it's looking a little weird, <laughs> that's literally why. Okay, so I got a question asking me, did I only post sponsored content because I wanted a mental break from YouTube this summer? I didn't intentionally like go out of my way to only post sponsored content. I honestly didn't even realize. I don't even know if that's the case if i'm being completely honest and real about it but that was not my intention it may have just been that the last videos that i uploaded before i took a little hiatus happened to be sponsored but no it wasn't intentional now i'm using that same product the perfecting complexion stick in the shade buff and i'm using this sort of like as a little bit of a concealer not necessarily to conceal but to just brighten up the middle of my face i guess something i love about these products is they are made to just enhance the way that you already look you can of course really build them up to get a different look with them but i personally just like to enhance the way that i already look i noticed that for the way that i'm using the perfection stick and this lighter color as a concealer it's super super easy to blend it if i use it with my fingers to just warm it up because once again this complexion stick is a pretty rich product something i've noticed through trial and error of using this over the past couple of weeks is it just works out best if it's like warm or a little wet to be able to blend it out a little more seamlessly i guess this entire 
a makeup look if I wasn't filming it would take me maybe 10 minutes max to add some color back into my face now that that is all blended out as you guys can see I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation in the shade earth a lot of people use this to contour I just like to use it to just add a little bit of color back into my face it's this nice rich brown color which we love and I also like to put some on my forehead and I'm just gonna blend this around the perimeter of my entire face. I'm gonna use this angled brush from e.l.f. and just blend it to the best of my ability. Someone asks, what's the top thing you are looking forward to doing returning to campus? I'm just super excited to see my friends. I'm definitely like excited to be having roommates because I was thinking about just living on my own, but because of the pandemic and everything, I do want to be around people so many people will prefer to just live by themselves for extra space and just peace of mind and everything like that and not having to share a bunch of stuff and just extra privacy but because i've been pretty much alone since covid started for the most part in my living situation that is when it comes to being around people my age also I am excited to have roommates, I am, and constantly be surrounded by people that are my age. That's something that I'm super excited for as well. Has the pandemic changed your mindset on things you used to do in your personal life slash school life? I don't think the pandemic has changed my mindset on many things. I just think that because I was 18 when the pandemic started and now I'm 20, I've just grown up a lot more than anything. Um, and so I don't think many of my perspectives have shifted or anything like that. I feel like I've always been a little more mature than people my age. So I don't know, I'm chilling, but I don't think there was any drastic change that I underwent. I definitely did take this summer to really focus on building myself up and focusing on my mental health as well, which was super important and was a priority for me. Other than that, I've just been, I don't think I've changed all that much aside from just growing up and becoming wiser. What has been the best technique you have used to shade match complexion products? This is a funny question because, hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. So now I'm going in with Merit's cheek color and this is in the shade Mood. You guys have to know by now that I absolutely love a cream blush and this is in this sort of burnt raspberry color, I should say and it is stunning i'm about to blend it out so i'm not looking crazy and i just like to use these two fingers to blend it out these products blend out especially this product from merit blends out so seamlessly it's ridiculous the way that it blends out so great but it lasts all day is my favorite thing in the world and i have so many like cream blush products and just blush products in general because that's my favorite part about makeup but this is definitely in the top two right now i don't know what the other one is because this is all i've been using lately but it is definitely top two about the complexion products um question you can ask my mom i don't know what it is i just can walk into a store and just pick up my exact shade if that brand offers it in like foundation concealer like i rarely ever have to try anything on i can just walk into a store see it and buy it and it matches perfectly i just bought a new foundation and i walked into the store and i picked up my exact color my mom was like you want to swatch it and the girl at the counter was like do you want to swatch it and i was like yeah sure and i like put it a little bit on my jawline and it was the perfect match like i don't know what it is about me but maybe that's like one of my superpowers is just picking out complexion products that match me perfectly okay another great question all of these have been great questions you guys thanks so much for asking me questions i absolutely love my instagram fam by the way i'm just setting all of these cream products with the juvia's place i am magic setting powder and kalahari once again we'll have all of these products linked down below in the description box for you guys to shop another great question i'm transferring unis do you recommend doing extraneous team activities while in college so if you guys have not watched my college vlogs, which there have been a lot of people who have joined since the last time I was doing college vlogs and on campus, I always say like, I have a strenuous activity to do that I personally don't talk about on my channel just because I do like to keep not necessarily certain parts of my life private, even though yes, that is a thing, but just because like there is a very fine line of demarcation between 
the different things that I do and YouTube is something that I'm passionate about and there are just certain things that I don't plan on ever really talking about on my YouTube channel. Before I keep running my mouth, let me <laughs> put on this next product. This is the Bare Minerals Generation Nude Powder Blush and You Had Me at Merlot and it's a very similar color to that Mood Cream Blush that I just put on but I do like to set the cream blush as well because it's faded just a little bit so I'm going to bring it back with putting this on top and when I tell you this combination lasts all day lasts all day so to answer the question it's really easy to spread yourself too thin and being a college student is stressful as is and i think that if you have the option to just be a student without like having to work or participate in some extracurricular activity i would say take advantage of that because college is stressful as it and a lot of the time i know me and a lot of my other peers who participate in extra activities some of them do it for financial reasons some of them even just do it for fun it is hard to juggle at the end of the day and it is a huge privilege just to be able to go to college and be a college student without having to worry about anything else especially for financial reasons clubs things like that that aren't necessarily really harsh and strict obligations completely do it at the end of the day that is completely up to you but just know like being a college student is already a lot and i'm not trying to deter you in any way but basically what i'm saying is if you don't have to do it definitely think about it and think about how you can spend your time whether it's focusing on your classes more meeting new friends being more social picking up another major things like that are things to think about before you commit to something so intense and so demanding as it relates to your time what's your favorite nude lip combo okay let me put this blush on my favorite nude lip combo combo as of late has been ColourPop's liner BFF3 with MAC Powder Matte, I think it is, or it's like a super super matte lipstick from MAC. I'll link these two products down below. And it's in the shade Mullet Over. And especially if you are a melanated person, I think that that's the perfect nude lip combo for me. It's not too nude to where your lips look ashy, but it gives you a little bit of color without drawing away from the rest of your face. And it looks very, very natural, which you know. Love. Now that I have the blush on, I just feel like blush brings my whole look together. I am going to be using Merit's Volumizing Pomade. And this is in their soft black or black brown shade. I typically go for like dark brown shades in brow products, but I decided to pick this up in like a black brown slash soft black. And I really like how it makes my eyebrows look. I can't explain it. This as well as the mascara and the blush by Merit are my favorite products right now. So this is what it looks like. And I really like how this long end, I always open it up wrong because the long end is where the spoolie is, but I really like it because it gives you a little more control and leeway when you are combing this product through your brows. And this is considered a brow pomade. Um, something I like about it is it doesn't make your brows just like stiff and stuck. You can sort of move them around and play with them after you lay this product down. I know a lot of brow gels dry really hard, but this one just makes your brows look super feathery and effortless, which is a look that I like, especially when my brows are grown out like this. So I have been using this product like crazy and I feel like this color looks natural on me. It definitely does darken my eyebrows a bit, but without making them look too dark for my face. I always just like to go through it with a spoolie brush without product on it the way that I want them to be combed. This spoolie is actually broken so <laughs> it's a little hard for me to use right now. I've been watching Criminal Minds like crazy you guys. I am quite literally obsessed with that show. I'm gonna go ahead in with one of my favorite cream highlighters. I use it as a highlighter but it's the Smashbox LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color. I've been using this as a highlighter for years and I feel like it does lay really nicely over top of cream products which is great to couple with the Merit Beauty. Merit does have a cream highlighter stick that I would assume is very similar to this that I really really want to try but it just so happened that when I placed the gifting order they were sold
pulled out of this and that made me a little sad but hopefully they don't mind sending me their cream highlighter stick so i can try it out because if it's better than this and i've been using this for years we're almost done i know it looks super natural but that is literally what i love about this so much i think we'll do lips last so we'll do mascara next this is mary's perfect black lengthening mascara i have the shortest lashes maybe not the shortest but my top lashes are super short and my bottom lashes are almost longer than my top lashes so when i find a good mascara i'm obsessed you guys know that i love the bare minerals lash topia mascara i was like oh this is the best mascara ever also the Too Faced better than sex those are both great at volumizing but this is so good at lengthening and i'm going to show you guys right now i'm going to apply it um what are your favorite songs at the moment also i love 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 your channel and you thank you so much i love you too my favorite songs right now are talk too much by coin love that song so much i also like greek tragedy by the wombats only Angel by Harry Styles is always one of my favorites during the summer. Hmm, what else? Florida by Dominic Fike is one of my favorite Dominic Fike songs. Anything involving Dominic Fike, I like. He's one of my favorite artists and has been for the past year and some change. So I've been really liking him. What else? I like that Kiss Me More song. Who is it? Doja Cat and SZA. I don't usually listen to music like that, but I really like it. I love the song Young by Sam Smith. You guys can also follow me on Spotify, by the way. And I have a ton of playlists. I also have a very special playlist called Flannels and Candles that I love to listen to during the fall time, but it's good for all year round. And it's just super relaxing and cozy and really meaningful and moving songs. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys' sort of favorite songs for the cooler months are in that playlist playlist and I update it every single year so definitely check out my flannels and candles playlist and just my spotify as a whole I want to get around to organizing my new playlist because at one point my spotify was super aesthetic and I would find these really nice pictures as cover pictures for my playlist on spotify and then I just kind of like started throwing playlists together without really having time to make them all pretty and stuff that is just one coat of their mascara and you guys I love it so, so much. You have no idea. Something that I love about this mascara is it's wet. Like it is a wet formula. And so you can like move it around and like really flick it out. And now we're gonna go in with the lip products. Lip products are also some of my favorite products. And these are some of the best lip gloss slash lip oil products I've ever used in my life. So these two products are Merit's Tinted Lip Oils. And I have one of them in Marrakech, which is this color right here. And then I have the other one in Sangria. And something that I've been loving to do is mixing the two of them. So this is Marrakech. I hope I'm saying that right. I might not be. And because my blush is a little deeper and has a little hint of red in it, I like to dot a little bit of sangria on top of this just so it matches my blush a little more. And these colors blend so seamlessly together like, oh my gosh. I love Merit Beauty so much. I am gonna go ahead and powder my face because I am a little shiny still. And that's literally the makeup look. All right, you guys, that wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and also be sure to follow me on Instagram. Make sure to subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. There's going to be so many apartment hauls, apartment content, moving stuff, moving stuff, college stuff that's gonna be coming and more consistently for you guys. I really hope that from this video, you guys are interested in checking out and trying out some of these Merit Beauty products. If I were to have come out with a makeup brand within the past year, it would literally be exactly like Merit. That's how much I love it. If you guys are ever wondering what I'm wearing on my face when it looks this natural and effortless, nine times out of 10, it's going to be Merit. Make sure to shop the links in the description box if you are interested in any of these products. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. But before I go, I want to remind you guys to spread kindness and always remember that the less you wander, the more you wander. I love you guys so so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.